Hello everyone and welcome back to Cattails! And we are here in the beautiful forest colony with all of the gorgeous trees and flowers and the other cats and look at their little dens! I wonder what the inside of Missy's den actually looks like. I'd be really curious to go and give that a good sniff in a little bit. But this is another beautiful day here in the forest and today is a very special day because I have some big news. You guys, you guys, the Cattails game is fully funded on Kickstarter in just one day! I am so blown away! And that means, my friends, that hopefully by the end of the year, the full game will be done and available for us all to play. I am so excited. It will be available hopefully to buy through the Steam store once it is out in its completion. And I'm really looking forward to seeing if we're able to reach some of the stretch goals on their Kickstarter because there's all sorts of fun things on the Kickstarter that are added in, all sorts of beautiful pelts so you could have some really fancy fantasy color cats if you so wished. And also, there's there's a big Kickstarter goal right now to be able to build your own colony in the forest, which I think would be really amazing. You would be able to set up your own colony, you'd be able to attract cats to join you, but that's only if they can reach a certain goal. So hopefully there'll be a lot more excitement and popularity going on for Cattails, because is it not the most adorable thing? I am such a sucker for Pixel games. And then Pixel Cat games? That's even better! That's the best! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, and I love the music and everything is just so charming, and Mayor, I need to talk to you and befriend you and we are going to spend a little bit more time wandering around and enjoying what the demo of the game has to offer so hopefully we can have a little more insight into the development that Falcon Development who is the dev team uh, made up of a husband and wife team a lot of you guys happen to know Tyler and his wife Rebecca and I'm so excited just to see little hints of where they want to take everything I mean look the cats are wandering around on their own but I just wanted to say I am I am so thrilled to see that kind of support for an independent developer and a game creator like that. That was awesome, you guys. So we will be seeing the game. It will not be coming out until the end of the year because I saw that in so many questions. So many people were like, Siri, Siri, when does it come out? Hopefully it'll be out by the end of the year, but you always have to be a little patient to make sure everything can be perfected. And it is going to happen because we're funded now. I'm so excited. I'm not, I, I say we, but I just mean like, you know, the community gets to see it. I have nothing to do with the development. I'm just over here really excited to be able to tell stories with our awesome cats. So we're going to spend some time chasing down butterflies, collecting up our Mew coins, and uh, trying to see what other surprises we might stumble upon in the beautiful world that we are taking part of. And we'll have to just um, hold in tight and wait for the official alpha to be able to come out hopefully sometime in July. We'll have to see if I'm allowed to record and share that with you guys. We'll have to see if I can get this butterfly. I want the- <gasps> I actually got the butterfly! Oh my goodness! It's a painted butterfly! Can I give it as a gift? A common summer butterfly with beautiful crimson wings. Oh my gosh, I'll have to give this as a gift too. But yes, okay, so that's all I wanted to say just before we got started exploring again is that the game is coming, who's Lyris? The game is coming out, I am so excited. There's going to be hopefully, oh there's another butterfly, let's collect it, maybe I could sell it, maybe I'd be able to give it away as a gift. Sorry little butterfly. But the game is going to be coming out, and thank you guys so much for your awesome support. It's always so much fun to see people support independent developers like that. All right, let's come down. I remember Lyris. You're the flirt, aren't you, Lyris? Good day to you, my rose. Ever tried your paw at painting? I bet you'll, you'll be a natural. Alas, it's not for me. I cannot create the visuals of a master painter, but perhaps I can paint a picture with words that will manifest just as well in your mind. Oh my goodness, Lyris. Well, I bet you would enjoy the painted butterfly if he happens to be a cat who um really, really, really enjoys painting. I wonder how you learned about painting, sir. Let's go ahead and give the painted butterfly to him. My, my, how exquisite, how charming, what luster and shine it has. You are a gracious friend, Chickadee. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Oh, and I'm gonna starve. Okay, it's time to eat. So let's settle in. I'm going to eat this squirrel. And it almost got me full, so I'm gonna go ahead. There we go. Oh, that's so cute. That's so absolutely adorably cute. Oh, there's another butterfly. Let's go chase it down. Let's go chase it down. Oh, I spent my whole day just talking to you guys. I hope that's okay. I just really, really wanted to say thank you to all of you who have done that. It's so hard to be an independent creator. A lot of you guys know that. A lot of you guys create or you see indie games or you make art yourselves. Oh, I want it. I want the little mouse. And I'm just so excited to see that kind of support. No, he found me. No, he found me. Oh, there's another butterfly. Eh. I can't, I can't survive off of butterflies, but I'm so excited to collect them. I wonder if I could decorate my den with butterflies. That would be really fun too. Okay, let's try to get this bunny. 
Ah, oh, no, I got too close. I'm not very good at, at hunting yet, but I think I'll get there eventually. Look, and there's more of the flowers, and there's another butterfly. So we can collect up tons of these butterflies, and then we can come over. I'll collect up this valerian. I need to find more things to hunt for sure, because otherwise I'm going to be pretty hungry. What's the point of being a wild cat if I- Ooh, there's a little campsite here. What's this? Licorice root. Oh, I love how there's so many things I can collect. This is so fun. Oh, there's a little mouse. All right, let's try to stay downwind of it. I'm hiding in the bushes and, oh, I keep forgetting to press space to pounce. <laughs> I'm just like, hi, and then I just pop up and, and just startle him. All right, there's a bird over here. It's a big old dove. So let's come over and see if we can manage to get him for food. All right, and, oh, I missed. I needed to be just a little closer. All right, I'm getting into the flow of it. I just keep like crouching and then trying to release. Oh, I missed again. All right, there's another bird. I'm gonna learn how to be a good hunter. Oh, dang it. See, it's hard to like hold the crouch and then hit the space at the same time, but I'll get that eventually. It's like learning to be a good kitten and you're trying to figure out how you can work your muscles so that hopefully you can find the food you need. Oh, look how pretty. I love the lights. I, oh my gosh, I have a shadow. <gasps> yeah, I'm totally like a little kitten right now. I would totally chase down my shadow. That's just too fun. All right, so let's start working our way back home and hopefully we'll be able to find some more prey. But I did find some pretty butterflies so I could try giving them to some of the other cats as gifts or maybe I will be able to sell them to Ember, who a lot of you guys are saying is a female but some of you guys are saying is a male. So I don't think it really matters but we'll go over to Ember and we will trade some of the butterflies. Um, oh, fire? Who are you? Oh my goodness, and here's that firefly. Can I get it? Hello, Footmot? Oh my gosh, there's other cats to talk to. <gasps> They're just wandering around. Oh my goodness, and I can count the fireflies. Come here. I wish I could put you in my room. Oh, a little white firefly. I wish I could like catch it while it was still alive. Who's that? There's somebody. Wow, this is so interesting. There's just a bunch of cats roaming around the forest to be able to meet. Can I talk to you? It'd be interesting if they said something to you when you bump into them, but it seems like they're just they're just wandering around too. There's that Valerian I just picked. All right, let's try wiggling up here. Oh, there's that fire. Oh, it's a green firefly. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. All right, I'm going to collect it. Maybe I can trade the fireflies. Oh, that blue jay saw me. Darn it. I was trying to wiggle over to where I saw a blue jay. Look at that. Okay, so I can be a killer of fireflies and butterflies at the very least. And Ember has gone into their den for the night. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my den. I love it. It's a very pretty den. And then we can lay down... And in the morning, I'm going to have to learn how to be a better hunter. I can, like, put down all the valerian root if I really want to and decorate. Look at that. I can decorate my den with that. Isn't that awesome? All right, let's hold the white firefly. And if I drop it, yeah, it just looks like a dead bug on the ground. So we'll go ahead and pick it up. And let's go ahead and go to sleep, you guys. And we'll see what we're going to get up to in the morning. But I'm so relieved and so excited to know that Cattails, more than just this demo, is going to be coming as a full game for us all to enjoy by the end of the year, hopefully. Paws crossed. And that just, oh, that just makes me so happy. I think we're all going to have a lot of fun just being able to tell stories and wander in this beautiful world. Oh, Doc, hey, I actually, I wonder if he'll enjoy the licorice root. Hey there, how you doing today? Seems to me like you're the type of cat with a lot of energy. That's a good thing. Old Doc's not as energetic as I once was. You better appreciate what you've got. That's adorable. All right, let's see if we can give him the licorice root. Um, let's see. And then, yeah, look at that. All right, so if we talk to a cat while we're holding an item, we can go ahead and give him some licorice root. Aw, you didn't have to do that. Thanks a bunch, chickadee. Thank you, Doc. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. And Missy, can I come talk to you? I wonder if she likes fireflies. What does her den smell like? Maybe that'll maybe that'll give me a hint. It smells oddly fruity around here. Hmm. Fruity, huh? Um, who are you and what do you want from me? Some people don't understand personal space. Some people don't get it when you want to be left alone. <gasps> Isn't it really annoying when these people or those people decide to stick around? That's just the worst, right? Oh, Missy, I'm sorry. I wish I could give her something to hopefully ease things. What about the golden seal? Hmm. Let's try giving her a painted butterfly. Maybe she'll enjoy it. All right. Well, at least you have good taste. Oh, yay. So the other cats do like it when we like share butterflies and things with them. Scout. Huh? Do you need something? 
you're fitting in uh, all right around here? I hope so. The forest colony's always treated me well enough, and I'd like it if you felt the same way. If you feel otherwise, just let me know, and I'll see what I can do. Oh, thank you, Scout. I, I want to, like, give everybody gifts now, because this is so much fun. Scout, would you like a white firefly? It's pretty yummy, I think. Oh my gosh, look at him! <laughs> He's not very happy about it. Thanks for thinking about me, but I'm not sure I really want this to be honest. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. All right, so he's off to do his patrol for the morning. And we need to get some food or else we're going to be in a little bit of trouble. As a wild cat, we do have a responsibility to learn to feed ourselves, but it's a nice rainy day. Hi there, have you come to check out my fine wares? So, I don't know guys, I, I, some of you say Ember is a female, some of you say Ember is a male. I don't think it matters, but let's talk to him and see if we can find out. Always nice to chat with a valued customer like yourself. Most cats just stop to buy stuff and then leave, so it's nice that you're sticking around. It gets lonely around here sometimes. Sometimes I even talk to my inventory out of boredom. <laughs> Oh my, I can just imagine him like lining up the mice and like talking to the mice that he offers for sale. All right, so let's go ahead and try selling some items. And let's see what we've got. We've got the fireflies, uh, the golden seal. I want to keep that emperor butterfly actually. Okay, so it's not a lot, but it's nine mews. I wonder how you count your mews. Maybe you just have to sit there and be like mew, 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 mew to like count them out. Who knows? There we go. All right. So we've got 17 mews. And what I really want to get, because a lot of you guys were very interested in seeing it too, are some of the brand new coat colors. And I really want to get the gray and white coat color once we have enough money so that chickadee can be the colors that I really think our cat chickadee would be. Or even like the, the S tabby color. That's kind of what I'm thinking about for being able to get for chickadee. But I wonder, or the tickled gray, the tickled gray is probably the one that actually would fit chickadee the best because I think our kitten chickadee would look a lot like a real bird chickadee, which would be really fun. So I wonder if there's anything out there that could possibly earn us a lot of muse all at once. So let's go on a little hunt and actually a literal hunt too, because I need some food. So today's goal, learn how to hunt so we don't starve to death. That sounds pretty important to me. All right, I'm pretty good at fish. I think I did get one whole fish. Oh, and look at this. Oh, it's so pretty. I love the mushrooms. I really do. Oh, they're just so cute. I wish I could pick those and decorate my den with some of them. All right, so on a rainy day, maybe the best place to go would actually be somewhere near a river because the fish might be out better on a rainy day. Oh, look at this, it's so cute. I wish I could jump up onto it. All right, let's come over. There's a bunny. There's a bunny getting swept away by the river. That was very interesting. All right, so let's crouch along the river. In fact, can I swim across? Oh, oh boy. Oh no, guys, this river isn't swimmable. Oh boy. Oh no, I'm gonna drown in the river. Let me go, rushing rocks. Oh, this is so dangerous. I don't wanna die. <gasps> guys, that was really scary. I almost drowned in the river. You've got to be a better swimmer. I need to like get my health up now and everything. Oh, I needed to be a lot closer. I wonder if I can eat some of this valerian root to try to recover. I'm famished, but I think that improved some of my, my hunger, believe it or not, because I was already super hungry. Oh my gosh, so you've got to be really careful. I think I nearly got swept away into my, my end. I nearly got swept off to my doom. So clearly being a wild kitten can be a little bit tricky. Oh, there we go. There we go. Did I get it? Oh, I'm not very good at hunting yet. <laughs> I really am not. All right, let's try to wiggle down here. So far, it doesn't look like there's any cars that we could really bump into that could cause some problems. Um, let's wiggle over here. What can we find? What can we find for a really, really hungry kitten <laughs> who just wants to be able to do some hunting? Oh, there's a fish. All right, come on. Oh, I didn't get that one either. Okay, so it's a little trickier to fish. Come on. Come on. Oh, I wonder why I'm not getting it very very easily. It does look like there may be more fish out on a rainy day. Hmm. I might have to go trade my muse for some food so I don't starve to death. Oh, 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 oh. come on, little black bunny. I'm getting really desperate now. No, it's so hard to let go of the like the crouching. Who are you? Why are you chasing me? There's a deadly cat named Rotten who is chasing me. I ran away because I'm already really low on hunger and health. 
oh no, I'm not doing very good. I don't want to have to go and like turn myself into the pound and be taken in by a human. I want to be able to be a good wild cat. All right, so let's see. Food, food, food. Rainy days might be really tough. So, hmm, we might have to go back and I'm going to have to like go talk to Ember and hopefully Ember will be able to keep me alive by selling me some prey. Oh, and I missed that prey. Okay, I've got to be a little more cautious. I'm sure we'll find something pretty soon. Let me see. Rainy days, pretty tough. South forest. Oh, look, there's a little mouse. It's way over there, so let's try to go and get it. All right. I want to be downwind of where the mouse is. Oh no, he found me. <laughs> oh, I wasn't I wasn't sneaky enough. Oh, there's a mouse and a chipmunk. Okay. Okay, wait for it. Oh, okay, so you can crouch and then you can hit spacebar all at the same time. Got it. Oh, we did it, you guys! Oh, thank goodness, this squirrel has just saved us. I will forever be thankful to you, little squirrel. <laughs> I was really worried about it for a second there. But all right, I'm figuring it out. We're figuring out how to be a good wild kitten. Uh, definitely takes a little bit of practice. Let's do this, and... Oh, almost, almost! <laughs> Yeah, he ran off. He ran off for sure. But I'm figuring out how to be a good wild kitten and we're going to have to figure out what else we have to explore. But yeah, today I just really wanted to say a huge thank you so much, you guys, for really giving the support to to Falcon and to his wife so that they can create this game. This, These are just like the early, early hints of the overall game that we'll be able to see. And all of the different things that they plan on adding in are just so exciting to read about. And I really hope you guys are going to enjoy it. I think that it's it's just so charming and it's going to be so much fun to see all of the little secrets. Oh, and speaking of which, let me see if I can decorate with some nice butterflies. Yay, there we go. Now I can start having my own little butterfly collection, which is really fun. But all right, I'm going to let a poor little chickadee rest and then we're going to go on a hunt and we're going to try to see if we can really find where a ton of the prey items are hiding and hopefully even a couple unexpected areas that we might be able to wander into and maybe find some good treasure so that we can unlock that special pelt. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.